Germs versus Soap, written by Dee Dee Dragon, illustrated by Hannah Robinette. And this little germ says, isn't it spelled J-E-R-M-S? Once upon a time, and maybe even right at this moment, there were germs on hands. Of course, germs are so tiny, you can't see them with your eyes, but that doesn't mean they're too tiny to dream of energy cupcakes all day. So they're dreaming about cupcakes, energy cupcakes. This is, however, one thing that crushes a germ's sweet cupcake dream. Soap. Germs absolutely, positively do not like soap. Nope to soap. Clean is mean. At germ school, germs learn how to be germy. The teacher asks questions like, why are hands the very best place for germs to be? And the one little germ says, because if the kid picks their nose, they use their germy hands, and that's how we get in. And the other germ says, ew, kids are gross. And then the teacher says, that's right, eyes, noses, and mouths are like open doors for germs. And once they get in, it's time for energy cupcakes. Hmm. Energy cupcakes. You're probably thinking, what are energy cupcakes? Well, they're not real cupcakes. You see, germs survive in our bodies by gobbling up our energy. And when hungry germs see energy, it looks like cupcakes, energy cupcakes, energy cupcakes. Once the germs finally settle down, they reflect on the importance of being on hands. Lucky for all of us, we are on hands, unlike poor Bajorn way over there. How do you get so far away? The kids sneezed into their elbow. Achoo! So there's a germ over here. All germs know that eating lots of energy cupcakes makes them toot a lot. The toot could be a silent toot, a medium toot, or even a loud trumpet toot. Germs don't care. They just have to be stinky because stinky toots get kids sick. Energy cupcakes. A sick kid will start sneezing and coughing so that the germs just fly out, out of there onto someone new. And you know what that means? More energy cupcakes. Energy cupcakes. Unless the germs find themselves right in front of the sink, probably because an adult told the kid to go wash their hands. Great, now the kid's up on the step stool. The step stool, oh no, I feel faint. Oh, snap out of it, Arnold. Those were the germs talking. Luckily for the germs, there's no more soap in the bathroom. Maybe the kid will just wash their hands with water. Ha, huh, water, ha 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 ha. Look at me, I'm so scared of water. But you are actually scared of water, Arnold. It's quite a celebration for the germs, you know, if there is no more soap in the bathroom. In fact, it's officially called a no soap party. Happy no soap day. All parties must come to an end, especially when an adult is sniffing for the soap smell. Uh-oh, it's the adult's nose right above us. Code 931, code 931, code 931. No, wait, what's that mean again? Oh, for Pete's sake, code 931 is the sniff test, Arnold. It means we're going to get washed. But the germs don't give up that easily. They remind themselves that they've been here for a bazillion and bazillion of years. They've outlived the dinosaurs for crying out loud. We say it loud and proud. Who are we? Germs. What do we do? What do we want? Energy cupcakes. What's going to stop us? Soap. It's always a good idea to double check before making any sudden moves. Is the kid on the step stool? 
Are their sleeves rolled up? Are they reaching for the soap? Do they have a very serious look on their face? If you check marked everything, you're gonna get washed. Ah! Germs know how to rush to the safe zones. Well, some of them. Get between the fingers, under the nails, and on the back of hands. Move it, move it, move it. Don't fight the bubbles, just stay inside of them. We're going under in three, two, one. Arnold, get away from the middle of the palm. You're gonna get... Ew, this soap is so cold and slimy. Whoa, it's way too slippery here. I can't even hang on anymore. Hey, you know what? This soap isn't too bad. Blotch, bleach, gap, gah. Germs prepared to get scrubbed for at least 20 seconds. Rub, hands, palm to palm, back of hands too. In between fingers, backs of fingers, don't forget about your thumbs, and under your nails. In all the com commotion, the germs get distracted by the bubbles. Look at all these bubbles. It's a bubble lizard. Bubbles, pretty bubbles everywhere. They're so shiny. But none of them could have prepared them for this moment. Look, I have a bubble butt. Oh no, we've lost our germy layer. Look at us, we're squeaky clean. Squeak! Guys, watch out! It proves to be a little fun for some of them. Hey look, he's on a bubble. What's up dudes and dudettes? Don't mind me, just surfing down the line. Soap fumes, what's wrong with him? Bro, is that a shark? Uh, you know, we're really not in the ocean, right? Those germs are silly. Right, whoa, it got dark. Who turned off the lights? I am on a slide. Wee! This is the drain, Arnold. That's not the end. There'll be more germs, you know. And there'll be more soap. Clean hands. The end. I hope that you enjoyed this silly but pretty cool book about germs and soap. And remember, we have to keep our hands clean. So anytime that we sneeze or cough, we can do so into our elbows. If we do sneeze and cough into our hands, we need to wash them with soap really well immediately. All right, stay safe, boys and girls.